Hello, I am Jack Assisi Jete and this is We Talk. We Talk is a talk show that airs on the Fatu Network every Friday at 4 pm. It's a talk show that focuses on the struggles young Gambians go through in order to make a difference in their life and their society. We create a platform wherein they can share their achievements and setbacks, be it entrepreneurship, entertainment, educational, activism, and the like. <laughs> Hello guys, welcome to another episode of We Talk with Jack Sisiyete on the Fatu Network. Now every week gets more exciting as we get the chance to meet young innovative youths. On today's episode, I have with me a young lady by the name Fatma Takasama. Now, Fatma Ta is a human rights advocate. At the same time, she is the founder of I Care For All Foundation. And also, she's an ophthalmic nurse. And at the same time, she is the founder of Girls Pride. Now, that is what we're going to be focusing on today on today's episode. So, Fatma Ta, it is great having you on the show. Thank you so much. Yeah. How are you doing? Fine, thank you. And you? Great, I'm okay. Yeah. So, as usual, let's take a quick look and a listen to Fatu's uh, biography, and we'll be right back. Stay tuned. Fatmata Kasama graduated from Gambia Methodist Academy in 2008. She studied nursing at the Gambia College School of Nursing and Midwifery in Banjo and graduated with distinction. In 2013, she completed her diploma program in ophthalmic nursing from the Regional Ophthalmic Training Program in the Gambia. Fatmata graduated with a distinction and as the overall best graduating student among international students. She runs a social enterprise called Girls Pride. Girls Pride provides reusable sanitary pads, padded pants, and panty liners for women and girls in the Gambia. Her business also provides reusable baby diapers. Her business aims to address menstrual hygiene problems affecting women and girls in the Gambia, to keep girls in school during their periods, promote maternal health and preventing postnatal infections, provide a hygienic and sustainable way of managing periods, reduce waste generated during menstruation, and create job opportunities for Gambian youths. Welcome back from that impressive bio break. Wow, you have a lot on your biography. Amazing. Thank you. That is really amazing. So back to Girls Pride. How did it all start? And tell us a little bit more about Girls Pride, how it all started, and what got you into Girls Pride. Okay, thank you very much for this opportunity. So um, Girls Pride uh, started in 2017. Um, I participated in the Mandela Washington Fellowship in 2017. So alongside, uh, during my placement at Syracuse University, I met this American lady called Sarah Hardin. She's an American teacher, so every year she goes to Kenya, she provides reusable sanitary pads for students to keep them in school. So that is where I got this uh, idea of reusable sanitary pads. Mm -hmm. And then back uh, in school, I used to go to my mom's village for holidays. And then I realized uh, most of the girls uh, use uh, old clothes and rags during their menstrual period, mm -hmm. which is unhygienic. Yeah. And as a health personnel, um, I did my bachelor's degree in reproductive health, so mm -hmm. I became passionate about reproductive health. So upon my return from the Mandela Washington Fellowship, so I said I could do this in the Gambia since nobody is doing it. Yeah. So um, I started doing my research. I've been doing the research on the reproductive health aspect and the reusable sanitary part for over two years now. Wow. So I reached out to so many companies, so many people uh, to get uh, the products they use, how to, to make them learn from it. So I reached out to a couple of them to train me, but uh, none was available. Mm -hmm. So I was able to go through YouTube tutorials to see how it is uh, made, which is available all over the internet. Yeah, YouTube is just helpful. Yeah. So um, reaching out to different companies, I was able to, to learn that we have a lot of products, just not the reusable sanitary pads. Mm -hmm. We have the padded pants, which mm -hmm. are reusable. We have panty liners, baby diapers. So um, for me, it's, it's not just providing a reusable sanitary pads. Mm -hmm. I wanted to provide reusable sanitary products that would comprise of the reusable sanitary pads, reusable padded pants, reusable panty liners, and baby diapers. Mm -hmm. So the main objective of, of this uh, girls' pride one is to keep girls in school. 
to, to address menstrual hygiene problem affecting women and girls in the community, especially the less privileged in rural communities. Also to promote maternal and child health. Um, uh, working as a nurse in the Gambia, and, and I've been to the rural communities on several occasions, and then we, I realized that most of these women, after giving birth, they don't have sanitary pads. It's either mm -hmm. the hospital provides it for them, yeah. or they have to use uh, old, old clothes, clothes or rats. Mm -hmm. Sometimes the midwife will have to buy pads for, for the, the woman. So uh, like uh, providing sanitary pads mm -hmm. like this yeah. will be able to uh, help the women mm -hmm. and uh, postnatal women who deliver mm -hmm. because they will bleed along and it will take a lot of time. So mm -hmm. providing them uh, with uh, reusable sanitary pads like this will help them because it can absorb a lot of blood mm -hmm. and it's, it's easy to use. It's mm -hmm. made of cotton materials like this is a cotton material that is breathable. It doesn't cause any skin irritation or, or bacteria yeah. and all that. Yeah. So mm -hmm. and this is also a cotton material. So you have a leak-proof material inside. Okay. So it will not leak. So you have cotton materials that are placed in layers. You have a breathable cotton materials on top, and also uh, a different just to, to, because women like something uh, attractive, attractive and nice. Yeah. So we have different uh, materials. Yeah, so different materials mm -hmm. as the background mm -hmm. that will uh, attract women. Mm -hmm. So you can have different, it depends on what you want. Mm -hmm. Some people prefer white sanitary pads. Okay. You can have white, some people prefer the colored one. Mm -hmm. So all this is to, to, to help uh, reduce the waste uh, women produce in the community, especially during their menstrual mm -hmm. period. Mm -hmm. So we also want to uh, create job opportunities for young people. And then addressing uh, menstrual hygiene in particular, because um, when girls uh, are seeing their period, some of them will have to stay out of school yeah. until their period ends. And mm -hmm. then the number of days they will stay out of school, you miss a lot it of means classes. you're going to miss a lot of things in, mm -hmm. in class. Mm -hmm. So that means it's going to affect your education. It's either you become a dropout, mm -hmm. or at the end of the day, your performance will be low. You will not have anything to do in the future, or your parents will just end up marrying off to an elderly person. person. Mm -hmm. yeah, so um, it all comes in uh, addressing gender-based violence, yeah. because um, if, a, if a girl cannot buy sanitary pads, you will have to get people to give you money mm -hmm. to buy sanitary pads. It's either the person buys it for you, for God's sake, yeah. or they have to abuse you for, for you to, it's like you are exchanging. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So um, this is how um, I was doing my research and trying to explore so many different materials to, to work on it. So um, I have this idea of having the sanitary pads and also having the padded pants. So you have yeah, the Yeah, we have to see the product you know? samples each. So, so this it, one is the, the padded, padded pants. pants. Yeah. Okay. So you have the pad, pad mm -hmm. attached to the pants okay. that you can wash. You know, so you this can is just easy wear. It's easy wear. <laughs> yeah. So especially for, for women who use family planning services okay. because they have spot bleeding. Okay. And also um, some people, they don't know their menstrual calendars. So you don't know exactly when your you period is mm -hmm. coming. Or the last days of your period, you just have spot bleeding. Mm -hmm. So you don't want to uh, use a brand new uh, pad. Mm -hmm. So it's like everybody can use it. If you don't want to use uh, this during menstruation, you yeah. can use it as a backup plan mm -hmm. in case you run out of sanitary pads mm -hmm. or you have in spot bleeding mm -hmm. because you are using uh, family planning services. Mm -hmm. Because you, you cannot have spot bleeding for continuous two months or one month yeah. or three months, and then you want to buy sanitary pads. Mm -hmm. Like, they are expensive if you want to have good quality sanitary yeah, pads. Yeah, sanitary pads. Yeah, so this is uh, one of the advantage that everybody can use, you know, as a backup, you know. You it's quite easy, you just wear it, no need for you to keep extra parts in your no, bag no, and no. think it's about very it. It's when you wash it, it dries up uh, within two hours if wow. you dry it under the sun. sun. Mm -hmm. So, um, um, as much as we want to introduce uh, reusable sanitary pads and then padded pants, we are also concerned about the health aspect of it. Okay. So um, uh, why we discouraging uh, girls using rags is because they don't keep it hygienic. Mm -hmm. Some of them will have to put it under their mattress yeah. because of the taboo uh, in our community. Nobody wants to talk about uh, menstruation. menstruation. Is more like a taboo. It is a taboo. And like you don't even to break that. You don't even get to. to discuss it with you your don't. parents mm -hmm. or your sisters. Mm -hmm. So. Um, um, Pro projects like these or programs that will sensitize uh, girls on uh, menstrual hygiene mm -hmm. will break the culture of silence and mm -hmm. people will be able to talk about it. So um, if you have this, we, we sensitize like 
my, my business uh, comes with a lot of packages. Like mm -hmm. we provide reusable sanitary products. We sensitize girls on menstrual hygiene okay. management. If you want a one-to-one -one talk, we do that. Mm -hmm. We can counsel you and also train you how to track your periods, your menstrual cycle. Mm -hmm. uh, when if you want to know your safe period or the your unsafe ovulation period, and all of that. yeah, uh -huh. the ovulation period, mm -hmm. and then also how uh, the physiology of menstruation, what you feel, how do you manage it? If you don't want to use drugs, what are the alternative ways, the non-pharmacological ways that you can manage? Uh, menstrual cramps and all that and also um, we, we provide training for young girls on how to make their own parts. How Let's far say, have you gone with those trainings? So uh, with those training we, I, I did those with uh, Prospect for Girls. Okay. Uh, that project was uh, sponsored by the US Embassy mm -hmm. so um, uh, we got the funding in 2018 and we targeted 1,000 girls but so far we've trained 1,000 807 girls on you menstrual hygiene. You 1,000 and then you yes. went to be your, oh yes. wow. So because uh, there, is an, there is a huge need of, 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 of the knowledge yes, and then many people, mm -hmm. yeah. So when we go to school, we target 40 people, like the principal will be like, you cannot just get 40, we need you to talk to all the a girls, you know. So we cannot stop them because we know it's a priority. Mm -hmm. So one of the things we do is um, when we have this, we have two packages. So, okay. so far, um, uh, all the products I've seen, mm -hmm. and then uh, the way it was packaged, um, they only, uh, one of them did not even come with a package. Okay. So some of them package, and some of them use plastic. Okay. And then in the Gambia, that plastic is banned, so yeah. I don't want to uh, get involved in mm -hmm. anything that is illegal. illegal. So mm -hmm. I want everything to be reusable, and then, uh, because when you, uh, disposable parts, um, it causes a lot of damage to the it, environment. It does. When you bury it, it takes years before it, it will uh, yeah. it will dis decompose, decompose or yeah. it, it will not even decompose. Mm -hmm. But for a reusable part, it can decompose because it's made of cotton materials. So it won't cause that harm to the environment. Mm -hmm. So we want to uh, make so that we, we are in line with the, the rules and regulations or the laws of the Gambia. And so keep we the environment clean. clean too. Keeping the mm -hmm. environment clean. So we want to go with uh, reusable bags. Yeah. So this I call the dirty bag, and then this I call the, the clean. clean bag. <laughs> so when you use uh, your pad yeah. or your padded pants, mm -hmm. you want to change it. Mm -hmm. So all you have to do is, like when you remove it, you just. Uh, Fold it, put it in the dirty bag, mm -hmm. so you can tie it because it's thin. Yeah. So you you don't want it uh, to, because here the kit we have three padded pants mm -hmm. or five or six uh, reusable pads. Mm -hmm. So you don't want to put the stained yeah, part. Yeah. It. So you put this inside, mm -hmm. inside that clean bag, mm -hmm. whilst you have your clean parts inside. So when you go home, it's very easy. You wash the pad, pad and the padded pan like you wash your normal pants. Mm -hmm. So soak it in water. Or if you don't want your blood, the, your hands to touch the blood, all you can do is hold the pad like this. This is incomplete pad. Okay. You have to do the edges mm -hmm. later with the, the machine. lock, yeah, mm -hmm. machine. So all you have to do is hold the pad like this. You pour water on it. You know, so fresh everything. blood does not stain on anything, even mm -hmm. on white mm -hmm. material. So when you pour water on it, it will all floss away then you can soak it put you don't put bleach because we're trying to to uh, avoid chemicals, chemicals because okay. they cause reactions that mm -hmm. is uh, what is the difference between the reusable and the uh, disposable part because they have chemicals we mm -hmm. can cause uh, skin reactions and other people will say it can cause cancer mm -hmm. and other stuff so when you use this soak it in water put your dettol take your soap wash it clean dry it under the sunlight like Two hours. Yeah, like the way you dry your pants. Mm -hmm. If you cannot dry your 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 underwear or your pad or your padded pant on outside because of the taboo again. Yeah. Or you live in a big compound, yeah. you know. So you can dry it inside and then but you need to make sure so it is completely dry. dry. Like your pant, whenever you dry it inside, indoors, you need to iron it. Mm -hmm. So that the, the 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 iron and the sunlight will kill the microorganisms. This so it's all you can iron this one? Yes, you, you have different materials. Some of the materials you can iron them, some okay. of the materials you cannot iron. Mm -hmm. So it depends on the, the material that the part it is made of. So anyone who is to buy this, you provide, let's say, a, no, let's say, a, you tutor them on how to use yes. it and all of that. Yes, so every, every package we have a, 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 a leaflet inside. Okay. So it will tell you well, instructions, like <laughs> yeah, instructions how to use the pad or mm -hmm. how to use the padded pants and then how and where and what they are made out of. So we want you to use a product that you know what it is inside. Mm -hmm. Like you, we want you to know what is inside here because we have a cotton material, we have a leak proof material mm -hmm. because some people will say if I use this it might leak. But we have a leak proof material that it will not leak. 
Okay. So that, that's something that people need to know. Reusable parts, they are safe and comfortable. Like, and for, for me, it's over, over an year now. I did not use a uh, disposable part. This is very comfortable. Wow. I don't have to worry about uh, buying parts end of month. Okay. You know, that calculation you do. Okay. Because if you want to buy quality part, let's say you, you bleed for, for two, uh, six days. Mm -hmm. So um, and on average, you need to change your part every six hours, yes. depending on how you, you bleed. bleed mm -hmm. So some people have light flow, some have medium flow, some heavy flow. Heavy flow yeah. So um, one of the mistakes that people make when you are buying parts, especially disposable yeah, they parts, don't read. you don't read. You yeah. don't know if this is for heavy, heavy flow, mm -hmm. light flow. So you will get your part. When you bleed very heavily, you get a medium flow. At the end of the day, you stain yourself. Yes, you exactly. say the part is not good. It's not good. Which mm -hmm. is not the, the, the fact. So mm -hmm. people need to read and see. So. Basically, that is it. Okay. Yeah. So coming to the economical aspect of it, how economical is it and the usage of it, how long does it take? Like, let's say if one gets the reusable parts, how long would it take you before you get another supply? And how cheap is it for people to afford? So um, uh, the, the packages are very cheap, okay. uh, I would say, when you compare it to disposable sanitary parts. Mm -hmm. For example, if you buy, want to buy a quality, good uh, sanitary part that you can use, because some of the parts, when you use it, before you know, it, you know, it opens and the cutting start flying all very over. Very true. Yeah. So um, if you want to have a good sanitary part, it, that's a minimum of fifty dollars. Mm -hmm. So if you bleed six days, you need three packets because if the part has uh, ten parts inside, it means that's going to last only for ten days. Mm -hmm. So meaning you need a hundred dollars, minimum of hundred dollars every month mm -hmm. for your sanitary part. Plus, if you have dysmenorrhea, that means if you have pain, cramps, and all that, you need to budget for drugs. Exactly. So if that is if you don't have other mechanism of controlling the pain. So you need to budget that. And one thing our parents will forget is when a girl is child has started menstruation, mm -hmm. going to school, they will buy their books and then textbooks and uniform. But they will not budget for the uh, sanitary yeah. part, mm -hmm. which is very important. Because if a girl does not have a part, how do they go to school? Yeah. Because you buy a textbook for me, I don't have sanitary part. I wouldn't use that I wouldn't textbook be able to go to school because um, it's one of the things that uh, causes gender-based violence mm -hmm. in schools. Because if I go to school, I don't have a part. I stain my uniform. I will just take whatever I have to keep myself. And then when my colleagues see the blood stain, yeah. it's a problem. Mm -hmm. You know, they will laugh at you. Sometimes yeah. you'll be in class. You know that unexpected. you stain yourself, yeah, mm -hmm. unexpectedly. Now it's time. For to go to break, you are just sitting at one place. You yeah. don't want to, you know. Yeah, like, no, I'm just you know, having an assignment or something. Exactly. Excuses. It's time to go home. Yeah. You are sitting at one place. If you have a bad friend like me, <laughs> I don't even care. I don't even know whether you've eaten or you want to go home. Mm -hmm. So um, I think uh, this is something that people need to consider. The reusable sanitary products are very economical and cheap when you compare them to disposable. Mm -hmm. Because the kit of uh, sanitary parts, uh, we have a kit that has five parts. We have a kit that has six parts. Mm -hmm. And then uh, the padded pants, we have a kit that has two parts and then pants, and the other one has three pants. Mm -hmm. So when you buy them, it can last for a minimum of one year to three years. So if you want, you can change them in between. Or it depends on how you want to use it and how best you take care of the reusable sanitary products. OK, wow. So um, I read in your biography that through your business, you've been able to create employment. How have you done that? So um, uh, currently, I have a, uh, two part-time uh, employment that I created. Mm -hmm. um, I have someone who does the edges for me, because okay. I cannot use the, uh, the over edge sewing machine. I can use the simple machine. Okay. So when I do the parts like this, he will come and do the edges for me. So and then uh, my younger sister too, she knows like myself and how we know how to sew since we were 12. Oh, wow. So um, since she's going to, currently she's going to school doing tailoring and design at Kenya Skills Academy. Mm -hmm. So um, for her to keep, stay in school and also contribute in her education, mm -hmm. because you know, it's, it's not easy to pay somebody's school fees or let them pay their own school yeah. fees mm -hmm. when they are not doing anything. So. Um, for, for her to contribute and also because if I contribute in my own education, I'll make so I study I part. Exactly. So I employed her as part time. So uh, she was the one who did all this yesterday. Okay. Wow. You know, she, she does this uh, sewing all the padded pants mm -hmm. yesterday evening. So when she does that, I pay her so she can use it 
for her lunch or transportation oh, or for whatever. Uh, and most yeah. people will be like, oh, she's my sister, so she's just going to walk and I'm not going to No, no, because um, we, if I have to do that, tomorrow if I need her, she won't do it. Yeah. So assuming if I have to, to travel or leave the country, I have mm -hmm. an order or I'm sick, I have an order, she will not be willing to do it. But yeah. the fact that I am employing and her... And encouraging in part, her at yeah, the same time. So um, the, the, the idea is to have a reusable sanitary product company mm -hmm. where I can employ young uh, women and girls, especially um, women and girls who are not doing anything that, and they know how to sew, you know, I'll be glad to uh, employ them to, to even whether full-time or part-time mm -hmm. to do the uh, sewing productions for me and pay them. Eventually I'll employ myself because exactly. a business cannot run if mm -hmm. I don't uh, pay myself no. and see it as a business, mm -hmm. you know, so. So what do you love about this job? Was so um, for me, it's, it's all passion. Like uh, initially, this was supposed to be, uh, let's say, an, an, a charity thing mm -hmm. where I would just make the parts and the pants, give it to girls to keep them in school, and then uh, women, uh, in, especially those in rural Gambia, so that, um, you know, I want to see that uh, um, women and girls have security, you know, peace of mind. Like, when people say peace of mind, security is not just about lack of war yeah. and all that because if i am bleeding i don't have sanitary pass i don't have thought is very peace important. of mind mm -hmm. you know i'll yeah. feel insecure my self-esteem is going down i don't mm -hmm. have confidence especially if that happens to me in a crowd i'll not feel comfortable yeah. anymore so it's it's about the passion uh so and and then helping young people so i wish you know i could provide sanitary products for Free all for the everybody. guys and, but to sustain it mm -hmm. i have to register it as a social enterprise so we are not uh, concentrating more of profit mm -hmm. but the impact and then how much life we're going to change in the community we'll take a short break right now we'll be right back stay tuned Hello, I am Jaka CCJT and this is We Talk. We Talk is a talk show that airs on the Fatu Network every Friday at 4 p.m. It's a talk show that focuses on the struggles young Gambians go through in order to make a difference in their life and their society. We create a platform wherein they can share their achievements and setbacks, be it entrepreneurship, entertainment, educational, activism, and the like. <laughs> Welcome back from that break. So yes, Fatmata, let's say in the next few years to come, how would you like to see your business? Oh wait, before that, let's talk about the challenges. I would love to know what your challenges have been so far. So I had a lot of challenges. Uh, one of them was uh, finding the right material mm -hmm. uh, because it took me over an year to, to, to be able to identify what material exactly do I want to use. Uh, before I started uh, doing my own products on um, I tried uh, getting products from different people. I remember the first uh, uh, lady who sent me some of the products is called Vivian from Canada. Mm -hmm. They had this uh, uh, reusable sanitary product uh, project in Sudan at the prison. So I reached out to her that um, I want them to train me on how to make the sanitary product. So that way I can have the idea of how to start uh, the, 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 business, the business, how to expand it and then the materials. I, I can use so but uh, they, they had a project which ended so she was able to send me a lot of materials huh? she okay. was yeah she was the one who sent me uh, uh, things like this and then an instruction guide okay. and some sample of reusable sanitary pad which I use as my pilot so I took to my mom's village and then gave it to girls to say and then the response was good so um, after that I ordered some parts from Nigeria to say uh, how uh, it's made there also. Yeah, yeah, it was made there to see how uh, people around in the Greater Banyan area will respond to mm -hmm. the idea of reusable sanitary products. And then, uh, you know, I reached out to the company so I can go and intern uh, with them mm -hmm. for training, which was not possible. Um, I reached out to another company in East Africa, the same thing, not possible. But then there is this company in, in, in Malawi uh, who were ready to train me. But because of the, the cost of transportation okay. and yeah, the financial challenges, I could not go. Mm -hmm. So what I did was I tried to get products from different companies. So I, I, I have to train myself since now I don't have the finance to travel. Mm -hmm. And some of them were not even willing to train me. So when I got their products, I have to remove the stitch to see what is inside. Okay. So and then using uh, YouTube tutorials to get it. So getting materials was a problem, big challenge, and then uh, the training, because 
people, some of, some of them will say, I'm the sole distributor in Africa, so if I train you, I'm creating competition for, for myself. myself well. Yeah, because we live in different parts of the world, mm -hmm. so you cannot even provide sanitary parts for, for all people in your country, in your country talk, talk less, less of, of mine. Mm -hmm. So, so it was, for me, it was crazy. And then um, getting uh, uh, equipment mm -hmm. was, was very challenging, like uh, this over eight sewing machine alone costs $25,000. Wow. You know, I need simple sewing machines that cost $15,000, the electronic. So for now, I had uh, I have to buy uh, a simple sewing machine mm -hmm. and then get a lot of raw materials, which I could not get here. I had to order some of them. But now I've explored the market, you know, I've gone over all our market. Okay. So I, now I know uh, the other alternatives that yeah. I can use. So yeah. instead of ordering materials, some of the materials will cost me 12.99 pounds, oh, which wow. is expensive. For a meter? Yeah, for a meter, which is expensive. So um, so far, I think uh, I know how to walk around and then do my stuff. So mm -hmm. And then um, some of the times I will apply for awards and grants that will help businesses. I will receive the grant, but then uh, one of them said, uh, because some of the things I need, I need to order them, and the money for the grant cannot go out. Like one of the, my objective is, um, I want to get a sterilizing machine. Okay. So when I produce this uh, to sterilize it, mm -hmm. you know, that will disinfect whatever that has been on it during the production. production. But okay. so far, I don't have the uh, sterilizing machine. So what I advise my customers, when you get these products, you wash them first before use. Mm -hmm. Because you, you might not know whosoever exactly. is doing the production. Mm -hmm. So it's safer because we're trying to prevent uh, infections yeah. uh, getting to the patient. So, yeah. So, so how far. has the feedback been since it started going out? So far, it's, it's positive, especially the padded pants. Like, yeah, it's people easier. Love, <laughs> love this so much. Like, it's I love the, it's easy to, to, to mm -hmm. yeah. So you, know. you, you provide for all sizes? provide for all sizes you know um i i believe in business you should be inclusive yes you there is be. nothing like discrimination Discrimination. anybody mm -hmm. so uh for me one of the things uh, i like is when you need sanitary pads or padded pan you place an order tell me this is the size i need you know most of the people you tell them what is the size of your pants they'll be like you. okay just give me any size, size you think it will be okay for you. well no i need to know your size mm -hmm. you know so and i need to know whether you, your your flow is light, heavy, or medium. Mm -hmm. Because um, if I give you a light flow and you bleed very heavily, the part would not be effective, yeah, or the padded part would not be effective for you. Mm -hmm. So those are a few uh, details that I need from the customer to tell me. Because I want, if I give you something, you need to be satisfied with yeah. it. But I am that type that if I want to buy something, I want to make sure I am happy with it. Like, mm -hmm. if I'm not satisfied with your product, you'll never see it's me again. again. And I'm not going to refer anybody to you. No. And if anybody asks me, I'll tell that person, you don't want to go there. Yeah. So um, one of the things uh, for me is, I want to give people something that I will buy with my money. Mm -hmm. So that's it for me. I like people uh, giving me feedback, like okay. critic, mm -hmm. not to criticize, yeah, it's very but important critic. for your business yeah, to grow. Yeah, it, it will help me modify and mm -hmm. grow and then make the product uh, better. better. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I appreciate uh, Good. people. So how feedback. would you want to see your business in the next few years coming? So in the few years, I hope to have a lot of machines to, to, to be the first Gambi a Gambian to have a reusable sanitary products, production company, wow. employ a lot well, of people. Female, a lot of females. I will not just employ females, yeah. but a lot of females. females. <laughs> yeah. Especially uh, uh, women and girls who are not doing anything, mm -hmm. or women and girls who live in rural Gambia. Or if I cannot employ you, one thing we can produce and give it to you at wholesale so you can also create uh, a little employment Women. for yourself mm -hmm. to sell at your own corner. Yeah. Yeah. Finally, what advice would you have to give to young people that are out there watching you? So um, one thing I will say um, uh, in this life, you know, whatever business idea you have, know that somebody has it. Mm -hmm. You know, there is nothing you can invent in this 21st century. It has been existing. Mm -hmm. People are doing it. Mm -hmm. And it's just how innovative you are. You know, like for me. I did not just, most of the companies that I contacted are just providing sanitary parts or some sanitary parts, padded parts. So for me, um, I want to make my business unique because we are all doing the same thing. Yeah. Because I learned that there is a Gambian uh, girl who is doing reusable sanitary parts mm -hmm. and then uh, somebody is doing reusable uh, baby diapers. I would like to, to meet them 
someday so we can see how to, uh, to work, together. work together and make this product uh, better for our own Gambian people. Mm -hmm. So for the young people, you need to, to know how to become creative. Like you can have a business idea from somebody's business, but it's how different you deliver your business or your product. Yeah. Like, like I said, um, throughout the research I did, mm -hmm. I didn't see anybody providing a dirty bag and a clean bag. Clean bag so I want my business to different. be unique. <laughs> so if I, if you are providing reusable padded pants, mm -hmm. I am also providing a reuser. It makes no difference. Yeah. It's the same business. Exactly. But then I am providing the bag, bags. clean bag, and I'm also providing other services. Mm -hmm. So for the young people out there, there is a business idea everywhere around you every day. Mm -hmm. So it's how best you make those opportunities. And then you have a lot of free trainings in the, in, in the Gambia that are provided, and mm -hmm. there are a lot of grants, you know. So let's make best use of it, and then let's support each other. Let mm -hmm. us not see each other as competition. That is uh, what is uh, affecting, affecting most of us mm -hmm. in, in, in the Gambia and in Africa as a lot. Because I, I realized that most of the people who were able to support me, you know, give me um, training material or the materials that I need as samples or instructions are all white people. Oh. All the black Africans that I reach out, we are all yeah, kind of negative about it. Yeah. So, which I feel it's, it's a bit awkward. Mm -hmm. Like we can support each other, especially We women. need to make Africa grow together. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So for me, I'll, I'll be glad to support anybody who is, whosoever is interested in reusable sanitary uh, product business, you can reach out to me. Okay. I'll be able to, to help. Mm -hmm. Like we can provide services. Like we train people to, to how to make the sanitary parts. You know, we train them in other, other services. So mm -hmm. you, you, are, you are available to come, you know, reach out okay. and then let's see how to work together. But stay focused, you know what you want and then follow your passion. No matter the challenges, you know, you need to overcome. Right. With, yeah. Follow your passion. You've heard it from first, but I guess my, it was really amazing having you on the show. Thank you so much. Thank for you being so here. much. Yeah. So yes, viewers, that was it for today's episode of We Talk with Jack as associated on the Fatu Network. But then a special thank you to the Cambis Collection for my beautiful abaya as usual. So if you want an abaya like mine or even better, you can reach the Cambis on the numbers on the screen or also follow them on their Facebook page on the Cambis Collection. Till we come your way next week, it's a bye-bye. Hello, I am Jacka CCJ and this is We Talk. We Talk is a talk show that airs on the Fatu Network every Friday at 4 p.m. It's a talk show that focuses on the struggles young Gambians go through in order to make a difference in their life and their society. We create a platform wherein they can share their achievements and setbacks, be it entrepreneurship, entertainment, educational, activism, and the like.